Okay, here we've got a Sokotoa question. So Sokotoa um, is another relationship for right angle triangles. So we use Pythagoras if we're looking at all three lengths. So we know two and working out one. Um, with Sokotoa, there's also, there is a right angle, but there's another angle involved. So that's when we use Sokotoa when there's another angle involved as well. What this stands for, let's start with that. So um, sine of the angle, um, I'll put this little theta thing. This means the angle, so whatever the angle is. Sine theta, so this first one, so, equals opposite over hypotenuse. I'll tell you what these are in a minute, these opposite and hypotenuse things. Um, cos of the angle, so cos theta, cos of the angle, equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan of the angle equals opposite over adjacent. So these O, A and H, they are the, the sides in the triangle. So let's look at um, labelling them now. So you find out what O, A and H are. So the longest side in the triangle, this one here, it's called the hypotenuse. So this one is called H, the longest side, one opposite the right angle. It's the hypotenuse. Um, this is the angle we're looking at in the question. The one opposite it. This is the one opposite it, over here, opposite. So this one's called O. And the one in between the angle and the right angle, that's called A. So this is what H is, this is what O is, this is what A is. Um, so we only use one of these. We only use the sin, the cos, or the tan one. We only use one at a time. Um, so in our question, X is O. See, X is with O, A is with 7, H is by itself, H is on his own. So we're not using it in this question. So this one's got H in it, and this one's got H in it. So and Ka have got a H in. So we're using Toa in this question. So all we've got to do now is substitute into this formula. So tan of the angle, the angle's 40 degrees equals O, that's X, over A, and that's 7. So if I want to work out what X is, I need to get X by itself, I need to get rid of this divide by 7, so I need a times by 7. So it's 7 times, or just 7 tan 40 is equal to X. 7 tan 40 equals X. And then what I have to do is I have to put this in the calculator. So I put that in the calculator, um, and let's give our answer to two decimal places here. So 7, 10, 40. So you see the sin, cos, and tan buttons are over here, sin, cos, and tan. Um, that's what we're using. So whenever we've got a TOA, we're using the tan button, and we're just writing in 7, 10, inside the bracket you put the angle, 7, 10, 40. So X is... 5.87 uh, centimetres in this case. Okay, so there's a lot of steps to doing these questions. So let's always start with labelling the triangle. So um, the longest side is the H. The one opposite the angle, that's O. And the one in between the angle and the right angle is called A. So in this question, so once we've labelled it, we figure out which one we're using. We either use so, ka, or toa. So we're not going to use o. See, h is with x, a is with 7, o is by himself. So we're not using o in this question. So we're not using so, and we're not using toa. We're using ka. So let's write down what that ka means. Cos of the angle equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And then we substitute in, so um, it's the angle is 40 degrees, adjacent is actually 7, and the hypotenuse is x. So now we have to solve and find out what x is. So we've got 7 over x at the moment, we don't want that. So we're going to times by x, so we're going to get rid of it from that side, and then um, it's going to come over here. So we're going to have x times cos 40 
equals 7. And then we're going to get x by himself, and we're going to do that by dividing by cos 40. So x equals 7 over cos 40. And we're going to write this in the calculator. And again, give answers two decimal places. So 2dp. Um, x is equal to 9.14. Again, centimetres in this case. Okay, a third example. First thing, label the triangle. So, longest one, H. Um, opposite the angle is called O. And in between here, adjacent. In between the angle and the right angle, the adjacent. So, H is with 7. O is with X. A is by himself. So... We're not using ka or toa, we're using so. So sine theta, sine of the angle, equals O over H. So fill in the details, so sine the angle is 40, equals O, X over H, 7. To get X by himself, we times by 7. So X is 7 times sin 40. And then 7 sin 40 goes in the calculator. 7 sin 40 to two decimal places, so we have got 4.50 centimetres. Okay, see if you can give these questions a go. Okay, so this one up here. Uh, first, that label the triangle. So we've got H. Um, this one's O. And here's A. So here we're not going to use O, A, sorry, because H is with X, O is with 2, A is by himself. So we're not using A, so we're using SO. So we're going to use sine theta equals O over H. So in this case, we've got sine 35 equals 2 over x. I want a times by x. I don't want x on the bottom down here. So I'm a times by x. So x times sim 35 is equal to 2. And I want x by itself. So I'm going to divide by sim 35. So 2 over sim 35. And then that's what we type in the calculator. 2 over sim 35. Um, that gives us 3.49 so x is 3.49 meters uh, to 2 dp okay let's look over here um so we've got h opposite the right angle this one's h uh this one's o over here opposite the angle o and in between the angle and the right angle that's called a adjacent so we're not going to use o in this example H is with 10, A is with X, O is by himself. So we're not using O, we're using ka, ka, cos, um, cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So substituting in, that's cos 37 equals X over 10. So times by 10, so 10 times cos 37 is equal to x that's ready to go in the calculator so we type it in and we get um 7.99 so x is 7.99 centimeters to 2 dp um finally so we've got h here o here a here h by himself so we use TOA, so no H, we want TOA, TOA, so tan um, of the angle is O over A, so tan 40 equals X over 8, so 8 times tan 40 is X. So again, we put that in the calculator. 
uh, we've got 6.71. So x is 6.71 centimeters to 2dp.